I'm starting with the dua of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Rabbizati ilma Allah increase my knowledge Ameen So today the, we talk about the international law of secondary science A topic about introduction of science And basic topic are advantages and disadvantages of science so first we'll talk about the advantages of science. So here we can see it is very much helpful for to communicate with each other. So social networking sites like we can sit and as we are conducting the classes or the Zoom classes and Google classrooms. So this is the basic uh, advantage of the communication that we can do with the help of the mobile phone, with the cell phone, with the uh, computers, Zoom classes and other kind of application which is being applicable through the science and technology it is uh, it makes uh, our learning easier so you can see the students are learning with e-learning with the computer and all these things it helps in our household obviously we are using uh, washing machine dishwasher and so many other things which is used in our domestic life it helps us to socialize each other we can talk together we can uh, like uh, one person is the speaker and the other, those who are listening from partisans, so we can have this opportunity and this is also known as the advantages of the science and technology. It is enjoying and give information. We get the information, we get, we are enjoyed with all these things. It makes you update in every situation on news. Nowadays, we have a very uh, different kind of devices. We have we have WhatsApp and other kind of applications in our mobile phone. And we are getting the information day to day on even hourly basis or when on, the basis, on the minute basis or second basis. So we can say that we are updated all the time. It helps us to solve mathematical problems easily. It supports teachers to become globally competitive. Now we'll talk about the disadvantages of science and technology. We become lazy. We are so much depending on these. We are dependent on technology. We are mostly dependent on technology if we do not have. So we are not uh, so much active for that. Uh, we gave lots of time in some social networking sites. When we are having this kind of devices we have, so we are spending so much time over there. So this is a disadvantage and we are not giving our proper time towards our studies. So we must have to keep a balance all the sides. It distract our focus in some important thing. When we are using this kind of devices, so our focus is going to be divert. Sometimes social networking sites was the cause why uh, some people were bullied. Uh, it causes bad health in some cases. It may cause addiction, particularly in some computer games like students have this addiction that they wanted to play games and when they are going to sit for playing game so they never uh, consider about the time how much time is going to pass out sometimes it may also cause bad influence so we should eat all the time we have to be on the balance side because Quran and uh, Sunnah of Nabi Kareem Sallallahu tell us that we should have to be on a balanced and moderate way we should not exceed on one side. It is uh, sometimes used by some groups in a wrong way. Jazakallah for today. We have talked about the advantages and disadvantages of science. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.